Hello everyone. Well, uh, DPD just came by to um, deliver something, and let me get it to you. I was waiting for this for a while. It's my downpipe. So, um, if you know my previous videos, I got myself a header, had it on for a while, and drove with it. It's not the best thing to do, but I needed a downpipe as well to make sure it actually fits and everything. And it makes a lot of noise. Um, so. I lost two, so I got two of them, so, and I got myself the downpipe here. So, in this video I'm just going quickly going to show you um, how the downpipe looks, and then I'm going to fit it my MR2 to um, put it on. So, I always hate those things, so, here we go, that's one. Here, there we go. And it's a big box though. Look, yes. Of course, it's a downpipe, so let me see if it's just open. There we go. So, more stickers. Uh, I don't know why, because the um, uh, my previous head shield came with the um, of the thingy, the um, came with different head shields um, for the downpipe. However, I lost a few bolts, so it's good to have three new ones. So this downpipe should have a filament cell cat on it. Um, it should fit absolutely perfect. Um, so let me see how to, oh, how that is. So it doesn't have, as far as I remember, a connection for a wide band. It's only for the normal cat, um, which sucks. But oh, never mind. There is an option for the white band as well, so when I'm going to buy my AEM, I can just fit it on there. So here's a cat, um, downpipe, sorry. So it goes like that, all nice and smooth, and then the exhaust yes, goes in here. So it's the have the welding thingies and on there and we have them just to go on here. However, when I bought the um, the manifold, they um, gave me some other uh, gaskets. So I'm just going to set up show check how it is and come back to you. So what they gave me um, was those rings, right? And they said that they chose to keep this design because it was better. So we have the um, downpipe here, and I don't know, but this doesn't really fit. However, um, it might be that that's just the um, the part for the well, for the for the manifold itself and not for the downpipe. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to my MR2, as I said, I'm going to take those with me. I'm going to take this with me. Um, because those bolts could be handy, it also depends on how um, the thread was. But as far as I remember, those should fit. So, let's hope so. And I'll get back to you and see how it goes. So, um, here's my manifold. And I'm going to take the um, rear bumper off. Yeah, manifold is over there. See how it fits um, and how the clearance is and everything. Should work. Um, so taking the lights off bumper and see how it goes. Well, I figured out it's too much work to um, get it all the way there. So I took the manifold out 
and just mount it on and put it back instead. So after a lot of trying, um, it finally on. But those bolts here, they're bitch to do. So what I did was I put those bolts um, in first, then put it on the car, then we go around it and put those nuts there. Um, I have a quite long extension bar here, doesn't fit, so you need a shorter one. Um, something about this size, so the bottom bit. Um, so now I'm going to figure out, going to figure out if my um, converter, my Catholic uh, converter is here and I just need to know if the sensor has to be there or there. So. So here's the original exhaust with the dent and the dump pipe with the sensor and the manifold and now I'm going to put my phone somewhere and see how it sounds without any exhaust. So here's the car with the uh, new downpipe and just temporary uh, fitting there and there and didn't fit it there because it's broken. Um, the other thing I did was uh, I didn't have any bolts and this is all destroyed so I just fit it as tight as I can do, fit it on there. Um, sensor is all fine. Um, on the other side it's not great either because you can see it here. It's uh, just temporary on just to see how it goes and see it how it sounds um, with the original exhaust that I got on the MR2 when I bought it but with the um, uh, 200 cell cat so this is how it sounds another bolt um, there um, and it's on so I'm just going to check and see if it sounds any different. 